Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Baker. Joining me today is your friend, Harold. Say hi to Harold. We're glad to be here at Elkins Public Library at the end of our first week apart from each other. And we've got some fun things to do today. I've been so excited to see that so many of you have been watching my videos on my YouTube channel and you've been leaving wonderful comments. Please continue to do that. I love to know what you're thinking and I've been able to answer so many of your questions. I've also had some suggestions, so we've made some changes. So please keep those coming. They're very helpful to me and my executive producer, Annie. So today, we're going to read a series of books. Now, at the end of my reading of every single book, I'd love to just talk to your parents. You can keep listening if you'd like to, but I'll talk a little about the book and the discussions that you can have at home with your parents about what I've read. And I also am legally obligated to say a few things at the end of my video just to protect myself and the library. So, the first book I'd love to read for you today is called The Snowy Day. I'm reading with some special effects today, and I hope you like them. I've used this before, so let's see if you like it. Are you ready? Okay. This is The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. Can you see? All right, here we go. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. One winter morning, Piekert woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and he ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a perfect path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toy, toes pointing out like this. And he walked with his toes pointing in like that. And then he dragged his feet slowly to make the tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. What do you think that is, boys and girls? It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. Look at him go. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. You know how that feels, don't you? So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels in the snow. He pretended he was a mountain climber and he climbed up, 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 a great big tall heaping mountain of snow. And then he slid all the way down. Whee! And he picked up a handful of snow and another and still another, and he packed it round and firm and put a snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. And then he went into his warm house. Uh-oh, what do you think's gonna happen next? He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. He thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked into his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there, and he felt very, very sad. 
But while he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. And now the snow was falling again. So after breakfast, he called his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. And that is The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. How did you like that book? I loved this book. This book was written quite a long time ago. In fact, it was written in 1962. Now, parents, the reason I love reading this book is because this was the very, very, very first book published in the entire world that showed the main character of color. And what's wonderful about that is that the character is portrayed in a normal, loving home setting where books in the past, previous to the publish of this book, showed people of color in a very, very, very different light. So it's a wonderful book of diversity to read. And one of the things that you can talk about with your children is how this looks different from where we live in Canterbury. It's a cityscape where lots of children don't have a lot of exposure to a cityscape environment. So those are things you can discuss. You can also discuss how it snows and what they do in the snow. You can also discuss the part about where the character feels that he's too young to participate with older children. And that's a real good way to bring up some dialogue with your child. So I hope you enjoyed the snowy day. So I'm gonna post many more story reads in the next few days. In fact, a few are coming up. So at the end of every video, I need to read the following statement. And as we get better at producing these things, I'll probably remember it by heart. But under fair use guidelines, this is a production of Baker Company 4 Productions in cooperation with Elkins Public Library in Canterbury, New Hampshire. The intention of this video is for nonprofit educational use only. Please do not copy or sell this material with my, without our written permission and the town of Canterbury's written permission. So thank you very much. And remember, I love you and I'm so proud of you.